Well, hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome for anybody new here. Hi, I'm Maggie. Welcome to my struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef. I am not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a boy mom. We have two sons, two teenagers, and uh, I am a home cook. I've been on a health and wellness journey that I am sharing with you all. I love to eat and I love to cook. So if you like either or both of those, or you just want to watch me do it, you are more than welcome here. Come on in, sit back and relax. We're going to go for a couple hours tonight. I am going to make a cake and maybe some soup. But more importantly, I ordered something that has arrived. Let me clean my counters off. Let's see if our side by side is working. Okay. So I have ordered something, honestly, that I've wanted for a long time. But I'm a little intimidated by the Mac Daddy, so I bought the Baby Daddy. <laughs> and we're going to open it together and see what's inside. Hi, Dust Ophir. Thank you so much for being here. Feel free to find me on YouTube, Maggie the Substitute Teacher. And uh, you can uh, see the side-by-side -side if you want to see the overhead view. <laughs> Y'all are already ready. Y'all really like this unboxing. Okay, so let me take attendance and then I'm going to go ahead and get my package. Yes, we've got new stuff and I'm going to try and uh, unbox it pretty quickly so we can use it because I want to make a cake that is not a baked cake. It is a fridge cake and it needs to set for an hour. So hopefully we can do all of that. So let me stop talking and let me see who's here. Let's take attendance. We got chocolate. <laughs> we got chocolate solution. Hey, hey, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it as always. Ah, Gail says you love the blue and the red lip. Well, thank you. I'm trying on some stuff that's, you know, honestly a little bit, you know, <laughs> loose and needs to go in the giveaway pile. Uh, but thank you. You all seem to like me in primary colors. And the red lip has become uh, my signature. Um, I need a manicure, but I try to match the nails, um, you know, because I'm pretty modest and uh, I got the glasses and everything. Um, the red lip is kind of my little pop of color. You guys seem to like it. So we made sure that we had our avatar, we got our red lip, and we got our pearls. So I'm glad you, you like it. I always want to make sure that I represent you all well and I represent myself well. Thank you so much, Miss Gail. Please drop your channel. We've got Padilla here. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Diary of Bell Roses here. Hello. Thank you for the hearts and the flowers. I appreciate the roses. All right. So if you want to be counted present, feel free to say hi. If you just want a ninja watch, you can sit back and relax. All right, let's get our hands clean. All right, let me just start with the disclaimer. Nothing here is sponsored yet. Who knows? Maybe that day will come. Um, but I ordered this myself through walmart.com. <laughs> Y'all. I opened up the app because y'all know I love the grocery delivery stuff and they had a rollback. And what I saw was a Hamilton Beach stand mixer. And I've been wanting a mixer because you guys see me do a lot of, um, I'm more of a cooker than a baker. Baking requires precision and I'm not trying to do that. I want to just season the way the spirit moves me. Um, but there are some things, especially with the egg whites, that I love to make nice and fluffy because the volume makes me feel like I'm eating more. And that means I'm actually eating less. And that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and get it. And um, let's see what we got. One second. So this arrived uh, yesterday and uh, we're going to open it together. So you all know I'm a big fan of the delivery services. There is a link with a coupon code for you in the Maggie's class notes. If you want uh, to check out some of the um, services that they have, I think it's like $100 for the year, kind of like Amazon Prime, same day delivery, all that good stuff. And if there's a Walmart close to you, you can get groceries too, which is better. 
I know I struggle with impulse buying, which means I'll spend more money and get more snacks that I don't need. So I love ordering stuff. Hey, Linda with the love notes. Thank you for being here. All right. So let's open this up. And see what we got. Okay. I know I'm not the only online shopper here. Hey, Leanne, thank you for being here, my dear. All right. So I got a stand mixer. Now, I will say this. If there are any professional cookers or bakers here, please allow me to take baby steps, okay? I know the KitchenAid stand mixer is the Mac Daddy of them all, and it's like 10 times the price, but I was looking for something specific. I didn't want something that I had to like leave out on the counter that had like 1,800 attachments. All I do is whip eggs. And that's kind of it. So who knows, maybe this device will turn me into a baker extraordinaire, but I wanted black and silver to match my color, stream, color scheme, check. And I wanted one that had a detachable hand mixer, okay? I believe the KitchenAid, I could be wrong, but some of the other ones, it's all in one unit. I wanted one that I could take the handle off and just use it by hand. Or if I need to whip something that needs to go for like 15 minutes, like our applesauce cake, I could set it and forget it. All right. So what does happiness with no carbs say? I missed your live yesterday. You were able to rewatch it. Can you believe Unique Daily joined the live stream? And there's more. I don't want to jinx anything. Um, it was you that recommended Happiness with no carbs. One minute, everyone. I got some more for you. Bam. 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 So, for any of my candy lovers or anybody out there who loves sweets, Happiness with no carbs told us that Hershey's has a new line of zero sugar, well, maybe not new, zero sugar aspartame free sweets and i am planning i'm getting a phone call i don't know where it's from anyway uh i am planning <laughs> cold fusion <laughs> look at y'all y'all are like forget the equipment cold fusion says now you have my attention last night wasn't that awesome y'all oh my gosh i'm so excited unique daily put me in her story she Shout it out my channel. I just, I can't even, I can't even. Diary of Belle Rose says they're so good. Yes, the Reese's. So, man, y'all, I'm feeling like I'm gonna let you down. We'll just leave these here. Um, for anybody that saw my recipe review live stream, we looked at a recipe for a peppermint bark that had crushed up candy canes. And we were talking about different treats that we can make. I'm looking, I have some other things I may want to show y'all, but let's get to this mixer because I want to make this cake. I found the York. Isn't that a quote for you? <laughs> so for anybody new here, I pretty much eat sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. I'm sure these are not dairy-free, um, but they are zero sugar. Thank you, Gail. Thank you so much. All right. So these will go in the secret stash and I know we've got some people in here who love sweets and I'm going to come up with some um, zero sugar or sugar free desserts that you can have. So, oh yes, I was thinking happiness with no carbs. Since you mentioned this, if you want, since it's not Christmas time yet, we could do that chocolate bark with peppermint patty instead of candy canes because I couldn't find candy canes yet. Hi. Cheka Chochi, thank you for being here. If you want to hop over to YouTube, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. You can see side by side. All right, so we have a mixer. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm hoping it's like just assemble and go. I'm really not a manual reader. I need the things that are like, you know, 
very intuitive. So let's see. Let me know if you have a, you know, stand mixer. If you're a baker and you have one of these, uh, find the chef's hat emoji and put it in the chat. I'd love to know what you guys do with yours. I'm probably going to be very basic with mine, but I am excited. All right. So let's get in here. Nice. We have attachments. What is this? I don't know. Some type of whisk, maybe for frosting. Whip, whisk. Okay. We'll go with that. I know I will not use these. These are, I'm calling them kneading sticks for baking bread. Never say never, but I'm not really a bread maker because I don't eat gluten or a lot of carbs, but maybe I'll bake bread one day. These I know very well. The mixing sticks, these I plan to use for applesauce cake. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Very exciting. So we have our Hamilton Beach, okay, stand mixer or hand mixer, the hand portion. It has six different speeds. And then it has a quick burst. That's nice if you want to whip it up quickly. Yep. And then I think this is for eject, I guess. We'll figure it out. Pretty straightforward. So we will put that together. OMG, yes to the York Peppermint Patty. Okay, so you want to do the peppermint patty bark and you would like to see me use the Reese's first, but you don't have a recipe. I was going to do, I have two options for you. I saw a recipe for like candy cookies or I was going to do the bark with just chocolate and then chopped up Reese's and we freeze that and just roll with it. But I don't know if I could do two layers. So I want to do the Reese's first too. All right, so we have a nice, beautiful stainless bowl here. Oh, sorry, y'all. Hopefully it's not too, too loud. Let me try and... So this is a nice size bowl. How big is it? I don't know. Big. Um, why is that important? Because certain ingredients like eggs will like triple in volume when you whip them up, or you could do a large portion of like frosting for a cake. The other thing that I do love, notice how this is stainless. That's good because when you're making your own frosting, if y'all have been with me when I've tried to do cakes and I make like a coconut cream frosting from the liquid heavy whipping cream, if you can put your container in the fridge or freezer for a few minutes before you start whipping it up. The coldness helps to keep it stiff. And I've been doing that with plastic bowls. Obviously metal will retain the cold a lot more. I learned that in our cooking class when we went for our meetup. All right, so we've got that. I'm just looking at these pieces, making sure I don't toss anything we need. And it comes with a manual. I don't plan to read it. Sorry. Happiness with no carbs says, OMG, to be transparent, I definitely been on Team Greedy. I know we're all Team Greedy. Uh, with the whole sugar-free Reese's bag, you can eat the whole bag. I have been there. I'm not mad at you. Best $11 in my life. Oh, Reese's idea sounds great. Okay, good to know. All right. So oh, y'all, so many things to come. So we have this base that the bowl will sit on and the uh, mixer will set on. And then what's cool is it's got this little manual thing that moves it from side to side so that the sticks will get all up in here and scrape along the side so we don't lose anything because we are team greedy. All right, so let me start by rinsing these off. All right, and let's see if we can assemble them. 
in our mixer. So it says the plus side goes to that side. Which one is the plus? How do I know? Oh, here we go already, y'all. I don't know. Where's the plus? One way to find out. Oh, I guess that means if you're going to use one of them. I don't know what that means. Anyway, we got them in here. So again, I can do by hand if I have just a few minutes to go. Let's see if we can set this on here. Um... There we go, it snaps right on in. All right, now it does have a little um, button here that allows you to lift it. Well, oh, wrong button, that's what comes off. This button allows you to lift it up so we can move our bowl up underneath here. All right, speaking of bowl, we're gonna rinse this out. So we're gonna start on this applesauce cake. I don't know if you guys have uh, been with me before when I've made this cake. This is a two ingredient no-bake cake. It is applesauce and gelatin. I love to have a slice every day. I'll top it with some of my zero sugar whipped cream. Um, and yes, counts as a fruit for me, or at least that's what I'm telling myself. So we'll set this here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, <laughs> What I love about this metal bowl is that it can go in the fridge or freezer. What I don't love is that I can't put this in the microwave. And for this recipe, I need to microwave some of the applesauce. So let's get a regular um, cup and then we'll use our spatula to scrape it in here. All right, so I've just got a plastic measuring cup here. This recipe, I've done it before, I've tagged it before. Rahul Kamat showed this recipe for the applesauce cake. If anybody needs me to drop the link, I will. I'm gonna try and do it from memory. So I'm using unsweetened applesauce. So this is what I'm using, Mott's No Sugar Applesauce. We are gonna sweeten it. You don't have to because applesauce is naturally sweet, but you can, and we're gonna use our sugar-free sweeteners. And the other ingredient you need is unflavored gelatin, okay? So for this cake, these are the only two ingredients, applesauce and unflavored gelatin. You wanna make sure you get unflavored because a lot of gelatin has sugar in it, and so we wanna cut the sugar. So the portion is one and a half cups of applesauce, two um, packs of gelatin. I am gonna double it, maybe even triple it, because I'll make this cake and I'll eat on it for a week. So let me just make sure, I got a screenshot of it. I just wanna make sure I'm doing the right portion. All right, so this is what we're doing. So he says one and a half cups of applesauce and two packets of gelatin and then sweetener is optional. All right, so let's see, I wanna use up all of this applesauce. Let's see if we can do some magic math. Let me get my uniform on. Kinda need a chef's hat since I'm making a cake, but I got my hair pulled back. We have Maggie merch. Check out the Zazzle store if anybody is interested you can get your own Maggie apron. They're about 20 bucks. There's always a discount code. 
and uh, we have three different sizes, three different colors. You can customize it yourself for free with your name or whatever you'd like to have on it. We have long, standard, and kid sizes. So this is the Maggie apron. It has pockets and obviously this is in white. All right, so we've got our bowl here. Let's see how much applesauce got measurements on it. Let's see if I can just go with that. If I pour out, all right, I'm trying to do the math. One and a half cups of applesauce, so double would be three. I don't have exactly three. I have like two. Let's see. So then three packs of gelatin. We'll make it up, y'all. So we're starting with our unsweetened applesauce. And then your unflavored gelatin comes in these little packs. So I'm going to do three packs of gelatin. Now the gelatin is the protein, and that also helps to thicken it up. Interestingly enough, this is going to go from grainy applesauce to a foamy, smooth, cake batter. I know it sounds weird, and it is, but it works. Mr. O oh, Just Living is back again. Thank you so much for being here. So happy to have you. Oh yeah, absolutely. You want to see? And I'm going to drop the link for you. So here is the, um, what is it called? Recipe. And let me just Put it in the chat so you have the whole thing. Oh, this is a screenshot. One moment. Actually, let me get to a stopping point because this does have to set and we'll do a little bit of more unboxing for you. Unless y'all want me to try the candies, but I'm scared if I open them, I better be ready to use them. Okay. I know y'all like the close up, so I just sprinkled the unflavored gelatin on there. Isn't that kind of weird? It's kind of like starting to like stiffen up already. I am going to stir it up. So you want to stir it and let it sit for 10 minutes. Little darling, stir it up. That's just going to allow the gelatin to kind of percolate the applesauce. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. So you can see, you know what applesauce looks like. It's kind of smooth, so it's thickened up a little bit. So we'll sit that there. All right, let's see. Let's clean up and... Um, I'm going to drop the, I'll drop this link, but I'll also drop the link for the recipe. And I got some other stuff I want to unbox for you guys. Since you guys like new stuff, more stuff has arrived. So let's see what came in together while we're waiting for our gelatin to bloom. So I'll give you a little bit of uh, music while I'm finding this. Hi, Alex Henderson. Thank you so much for being here. Feel free to hop on over to YouTube. I am Maggie, the substitute teacher, and you can see the side by side. I'm just grabbing the link and I'm going to put it in the chat for you. I'm not good at multitasking, so let me just. Okay. There you go. So now you have the recipe, but just in case anybody is interested, let me show it to you. I don't know. How do I get it? Yeah. This one right here, two ingredient cake. It says insane for weight loss, Rahul Kamat. So I always give credit to the original chef. So that's the cake we're gonna make. 
each slice of cake is 12 calories. He is another um, person who struggled with weight like me, and he lost 100 pounds. I'm on my way. I'm 80 pounds down. I got 20 more to go. Uh, he's doing a lot of like anabolic recipes to build protein, and he does like workout stuff. That's not me. I just want to live long and feel great. Uh, so a lot of his recipes, because uh, he doesn't like the way either the way protein bars taste or, you know, a protein bar, the volume of it compared to like 200 calories for this much. So he comes with all kind of like under 200 calorie recipes. And that's what he's saying about this cake that we're making. You could eat that whole cake for 200 calories as opposed to a protein bar. So he's been great. You can check out his page and support. So we got our cake batter behind us just sitting for 10 minutes with the timer but you guys know I'm a big fan of skinny syrups so I have the subscription service oh, I got a little pumper okay so you guys have seen me all the time make, excuse me, hot beverages and cold beverages without sugar. How do I do it? I use the skinny syrups. Doesn't this sound like a commercial? None of this is sponsored. I signed up for their subscription service, so they send me what I want on a schedule. You guys can find skinny syrups um, online. I do have a discount code for you in the class notes. You can also find them at Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, Tuesday morning. They give you all of the flavors without the sugar. So you can see this is zero calories. So these little pocket size ones, this one is pumpkin spice. Love it in my coffees. Any pumpkin spice latte fans? And then vanilla, I'll put this in iced coffee. I'll put this in. So for example, this is what I'm sipping on now. When I go to Panera, I get their large, large iced coffee with almond milk, unsweetened. And I keep these little skinny syrups in my car and you literally just squeeze a little bit and you get the vanilla flavor. And so it tastes like a vanilla iced coffee without all that sugar. Leanne wants to know where the greedy gong gongs are. <laughs> they are alive and well. I've been a little strategic about trying to record when they're not here. Alex is upstairs and Marcus is at his dad's, but they are all fine. Trust and believe. I got a quote for you. Sidebar, let me let you know. Oh, look at Jason. Jason says, no sugar needed. You're sweet enough, Margaret. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment, sir. So let me tell you something about these teenage boys while I clean my glasses. So you all know we have two teenage sons, 13 and 15. They eat everything. I've been cooking since 1842. Y'all already know. And uh, family, God love them. Sometimes they're your biggest, shall we say, motivators. So Marcus still cannot believe that anybody watches me. I embarrass my children to no end. And he asked me, he said, mom, how many subscribers do you have? And I said, Marcus, I've got like 1,400 now. And he was like, you? He said, people want to watch you make me dinner. And I'm like, it's more than that, but yes. He just dies laughing. He just cannot believe this is happening. So this is my happy place. And so I kind of keep it, keep the kids away but y'all know they'll be back but Leanne the boys are fine thank you for asking my dear uh okay so we talked about the skinny syrups iced coffee vanilla iced coffee sugar free Ooh, I need a little more so this one is the seasonal one they have all of the regular flavors vanilla caramel chocolate or mocha and then they have seasonal ones too and then I got the little pump So for example, this one I have salted caramel. We'll put a little bit of this in my coffee. Y'all see me just pour or they do sell 
the pumps. If you want to be fancy like a proper barista, right, then you could have this. And I have a little tray over there of all the syrups. And then, you know, the boys love it. They come through and they, you know, pump away. If portions are important to you. But these are my zero calories, so I just pump away. All right. Two more minutes on our applesauce cake. I have one more box. A skinny syrup, so let's see what other flavors. Not only do I put them in beverages, you can also use them as ingredients. Whenever I make pancakes or Maggie cakes, when you want a little bit of vanilla flavor, if you don't have vanilla extract and you don't mind vanilla with sweet, I'll put a little bit of this into my pancake batter or waffle batter or whatever. All right, so let's see what else came. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Yummy. All right, so we have some more skinny syrups. I just bought a variety. Oh, y'all, yes. Hold up, this is important. So this is the regular skinny syrups, salted caramel. Now, as far as sweeteners, because you all know I'm sugar-free, even though Jason says we don't need, I don't need any sugar. Thank you, sir. Um, there are plant-based and naturally sugar-free sugars, and there are some laboratory-made sugar-free sugars. Now, the laboratory-made ones are like Splenda, which is sucralose, or Equal, which is aspartame. Some people are sensitive to those. I am not, but if you're interested in more naturally occurring plant-based sweeteners, oh, I just squirted myself, oh God. Um, monk fruit, erythritol, stevia, those are the ones that come from nature and they're able to get the sweetness without the calories. So most of your standard, I know some of y'all have said most of your standard skinny syrups, these use uh, Splenda, sucralose. Doesn't bother me, but if you wanna avoid Splenda, they just came out with something new. If you notice, they have a new line called Naturally Sweetened, still zero calories and still zero sugar, but it is sweetened with, what is it sweetened with? Erythritol, which comes from a grape, a cantaloupe, something. So if you don't wanna have the um, Splenda, they now have a new line of naturally sweetened, okay? Plant-based sweeteners. All right, our timer. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> where are we? Oh, Alexa, stop. All right, so let's take a look at our cake batter. So I'm happy to try those for you. I squirted myself. Um, oh, it was a four pack. So we have vanilla bean. Look at this iced latte, naturally sweetened. Chocolate mocha, make your um, milkshakes or, you know, look at that beautiful decadent creation. Salted caramel. So this is the one that I just used. This is the one that just arrived. So you have a Splenda option and you have a natural option. And then, ooh, cinnamon dolce. That would be good with a coffee, with a tea. Mm. Do Better Podcast is here, just showing some love. Thank you, sir. Hello, Mona. Thank you so much for being here. All right. So 10 minutes has gone by. You all can see that the applesauce now is thick and chunky. Not me, I'm trying to get the weight off. The applesauce is thick and chunky. So this is what happens when you let it just sit with the powdered gelatin. So now, I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit and we need to microwave it for one and a half minutes. We need to microwave it to get it a little bit more liquidy, if that's a word, I don't know. 
but we're gonna microwave it in 30 second increments. Now, my microwave behind me has died. A replacement is coming. I brought the struggle microwave here. So I'm stepping out to microwave for 30 seconds at a time. So let's put it in and let's see what happens. So you can see it's not even moving. It's just kind of like a thick paste. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna put these naturally sweetener, sweetened ones away. And uh, we're gonna put our mixer together because once it's done, we're gonna start whipping it up. And uh, you guys can let me know what you'd like me to make in the meantime, because this cake has got to be in the fridge for an hour. So I can either do some soup or whatever you'd like to see. Hey, Dee Dee, thank you for being here. Ah! Alexa, stop. So 30 seconds so far, you can see how the sides are a little bit starting to get wet. So I'm just going to stir it up to break up any hot spots. Stir it up. And then we're gonna go back in for 30 more seconds, two more times. So you see it's starting to get a little bit more pliable. Again, this is two ingredients, applesauce and gelatin. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. The weather's kind of cool where I am. I was thinking some egg drop soup with some chicken and green onion in there. Happiness with no carbs says, can you add the skinny syrup vanilla bean or mocha to the cake? How about that? Why don't we? I was gonna put vanilla paste, but yes, for you, I will. All right. Alexa, stop. All right. So again, you can see the sides are wet. You see it's steaming a little bit. And we're gonna go in for the last 30 seconds. Again, just applesauce and unflavored gelatin. Unsweetened applesauce and sugar-free gelatin. So we got the protein, which will help keep us full. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. And the... Um, applesauce which has fruit stuff. I don't know. Y'all know. All right, let's put our mixer together. Let's go ahead and plug it up. I want to make sure y'all can see and I can see. All right, we'll do it right here. All right. I believe so. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm trying to remember the recipe from school. From memory. Ah, Alexa, stop. Y'all like my dorm room struggle microwave? All right, much better. So y'all can see now we're back to kind of like applesauce consistency. Remember it was really stiff before. See, it's nice and jiggly. So I am going to now put it in the mixing bowl. We'll get our spatula and put it in here. We're gonna pour it all out and scrape the sides. I did rinse this out. And we're gonna whip it. It needs to whip. The recipe says 15 minutes. Now, mom taught me to cook with all of my senses. You wanna stop when it gets to a foamy cake batter consistency. So we're gonna go about halfway. And once the texture changes, we will add our vanilla skinny syrups. And I'm going to add a couple other things that are optional. But let's go ahead and get this started. So you all can see we've got the bubbles from that gelatin in there and our applesauce. And it's still kind of warm, but not hot. All right. Hamilton Beach, make me proud. So let's set it down and
I'm gonna go fast. Is it supposed to turn? I'm sorry y'all, I didn't think about how loud this is. Can you still hear me? Because if not, I'll move it behind me. I didn't even think about that, y'all. I don't want to mute. And I'll answer your question. Let me clean up. I'll type it in here. Can you hear me? Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> while I'm looking for the turn. Oh, 
froze. Now it froze.
I didn't even set the timer on there, y'all. But let's um, let's come to a little bit of a stopping point. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put a napkin down there so I don't make a mess. If you guys are able to see, well, you're kind of able to see already. Notice how this is getting like thick and foamy. So we're gonna keep going, but what we're going to do now, you guys wanna put the vanilla in there. Let me just put this back. We'll put some vanilla flavor in there. You can do vanilla extract, you can do vanilla bean paste, but you guys wanna do the skinny syrups. Now, I saw the question about the Reese's. I probably wouldn't put the Reese's inside the cake. I would probably put the Reese's on top of the cake, and here's why. Since this is a no-bake cake, the consistency of it is going to be kind of like a sponge cake, and it's not going to be as dry as like a baked cake. And when I've done like graham crackers or other stuff like that, they kind of, um, the first day they're really good, but after that they get kind of soggy and mushy. So I would cut a piece of cake and then I would put the Reese's on top. So we're going to put a squirt of the vanilla. This serves two purposes. This gives us the sweet and the vanilla. So I'm going to squeeze some of that in there to choice, to taste. And, um, actually, that's all we'll do. I'll keep looking for the yellow um, food coloring, but we want to keep going on this until it looks like cake batter. So I'm going to get the uh, dish out. We're going to line that with um, plastic wrap. All right, so I need to have this pressed down and then...
We want to try and get it as lined as possible. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of yellow food coloring, completely optional. But, um, yeah. See how the color goes. make it look like a yellow cake coming together. That might have been a bit much. Okay. One thing I'm noticing, any resistance to the spin, it kind of stops. I'm just scraping the side. But that's fine, maybe it's a safety mechanism. Very good. Great suggestion. All right. We'll give it two more minutes. Thank you for bearing with that. Next time we're going to put this mixer behind me so it's not so incredibly loud. Um, but we're going to go ahead and pour our batter into the dish and then you all can let me know what you'd like for me to make. I'm noticing a theme here, but I can make a small portion if you would like. All right, so let's lift this up. Are you all able to see how our applesauce and gelatin has turned into this batter? Let me see if I can take this off so it's not dripping. Okay, move this out of the way. Okay, so hopefully you guys are able to see it's nice and foamy. You could actually go a little bit thicker, but I'm going to go ahead and call it because I want it to go in the fridge. But this was applesauce 
and unsweetened gelatin. So you see how it's kind of giving us that cake batter experience. So we're gonna pour this all into our baking dish and we'll get our spatula in here and get it all out. all of this out. Y'all know we are team greedy. We suffered through all that mixing. So yes, you could put whatever you want in the cake. I would just put something that would do well with moisture. Like I'm thinking raisins or anything that could stand being hydrated. Mm. All right. So again, you see our cake batter. And so I wouldn't do the Reese's in here. Then you're gonna put another layer of the plastic wrap over top. So plastic wrap on the bottom. And plastic wrap on the top. And you wanna try and get onto the surface and kind of pat it down so you don't get, sorry for that janky noise, so you don't get the, um, film on there. You know how like gravy, when it dries on top, it gives you that gravy skin. So I'm kind of pressing the plastic wrap on top all the way to the edges. Make sure it's nice and sealed. So this is going to go in the fridge for an hour or we'll do like 55 minutes so I can frost it and eat it. All right, let's see. Again, this is a no bake cake. So into the fridge we go. And again, ingredients applesauce and gelatin. Okay, class. Now we have some time to kill. I'm noticing a theme here. I know that Living Out Loud has said that she struggles with sweets. I know that uh, Happiness with No Carbs has said that um, you introduced us to the Reese's. So I have several sugar-free options here. Ah, Chocolate Solution says, I must be a weirdo. You're not a weirdo, sir. You like what you like. No judgment. You swear you love that thin film that develops on the top of a hearty soup. You stir it right back in. You know what? I can see that on like a creamy base soup. We talked about that. If y'all like cream soups or you like broth soups. Um, but I'm thinking like a potato soup or any of those soups that have, um, I know what you mean. Hey, you like it. I love it. That's one thing. I'm just rinsing the bowl out. I'm going to put it in the dishwasher. You know, food is so subjective, y'all. Especially, you know, being an immigrant, you know, it's important to me having these all-American kids. That's why I travel with them. That's why I encourage them to try other cuisine. Um, you never turn your nose up. You always try it. We have a two-bite rule. If you don't like it, you say no thank you. But you don't make fun of what other people like. No, we don't do that. Sorry. All right, so never weird to me. So I'm gonna show you guys the video for the peppermint bark. And if happiness with no carbs and living out loud the podcast is still here, I'm gonna let you guys choose. I have some ideas. Oh gosh, but... Y'all, I do what my scholars want. I kind of feel like I should uh, make some real food to take to the mastermind, but hey, I can make this bark and uh, we can enjoy. So if you guys were with me when we did the um, Maggie recipe review, you noticed that I pulled up a recipe. I'm gonna show it to you guys here, if it will play. 
And then we talked about different ways that we can um, make variations of this. Okay, it's making me watch an ad first. Chocolate Solution says, yeah, mom taught me to say, now your taste buds have expanded exactly as we age beyond where she wants them to go at this point. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, so here we go. So she starts with a Ziploc bag of candy canes. We could do this with sugar-free candy canes around the holidays. She uses a rolling pin to smash them up and then pours them into a bowl. Then she melts her chocolate. We can do that. She put peppermint extract in there so you have peppermint flavored chocolate. She spreads it over parchment paper, a whole tray, I'm not doing that much, freeze it for five minutes just so it sets. Then she puts another layer of white chocolate on there and smooths that out so you have two layers. And then directly on top of the white chocolate, she sprinkles in the crushed candy canes, freeze for an hour, and then you have this amazing peppermint brittle. Now. I don't have candy canes. I promise I will do it for you when the holidays come. So we can do one of two things. I do have peppermint extract. I also have Lily's makes a sugar-free chocolate mint flavored chip. So this could be our chocolate layer. I don't have... Um, white chocolate chips. I ordered them, but I guess they were out of stock. This is what I've got. I've got dark chocolate. I've got sugar-free chocolate. I got semi-sweet chocolate. Unicorn. I don't know what flavor that is. I've got mint. And then we could crush up our candy pieces and sprinkle that over top. So if you guys want to do if living out loud or happiness with no carbs, still with me, we could do chocolate and Reese's, or we could do mint chocolate and York. So I'll wait to see what y'all vote. I'm looking to see what happened to my white chocolate. I guess they didn't have any. Yeah. Oh, maybe I didn't order it. So, living out loud and happiness with no carbs, what would you like? I'm not going to do a full baking tray. I'm going to do a smaller portion, but enough to see how it comes uh, out so it won't take as long to freeze either. If you guys want the Reese's, we could do dark chocolate and semi-sweet. or just regular chocolate and Reese's. Mint chocolate and York. Okay, living out loud. You got it. I'm nervous. So would you like two layers? Let's look at something. Part of what made that brittle so beautiful is she had that white chocolate layer. Now, I can do, let's look at our mint chocolate chips. Because I'm thinking this uh, peppermint patty gives us a little bit of that white anyway, so let's do that. <gasps> chocolate solution, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. Okay, you got it. So let me think of the order of things, because y'all know once we melt down chocolate, it, um, for me, especially on my countertops, it solidifies pretty quickly. I want to open this to see the color of the chocolate. Because I want enough of a contrast, and then we'll open up our peppermint patties. Oh my word. All right, ooh, these are a beautiful like light brown, the mint chocolate chips. <clears throat> I 
All right. So you can see with our zero sugar York peppermint patties, they come individually wrapped. So if you meal prep or something like that, this could be um, a good little dessert if you want. Just getting a cutting board. All right, so let's take a look. So our York peppermint patty is like a darker brown color compared to our, but, and I am going to cut these with a knife. I'm gonna chop them up. All right, so we've got, oof, the inside of our York peppermint patty, nice and creamy. <gasps> Suzette Speaks is here. We're making dessert, Suzette. If you want to come on over to YouTube, I'm making a mint peppermint bark, zero sugar. All right, y'all. <sighs> Suzette says, hey, Maggie, come on over, y'all. Our, our uh, class counselor is with us. Okay, so if you guys are all right with that, I will just chop this up and we'll use the white from the peppermint patty to give us the variation of color. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna open up the peppermint patties. And again, these are zero sugar peppermint patties. Hershey's has a whole line of zero sugar candies. So I'll just keep them here so y'all can see they have zero sugar Hershey's, Zero Sugar Reese's, Zero Sugar um, York, Jolly Ranchers, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these all up and I'm going to chop them up with the knife. Um, in the video, she used the rolling pin for candy canes. I would not do that for the peppermint patties because we don't want them smushed, right? We want crumbles of peppermint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open all these up and I wanna go ahead and get my York peppermint patties cut up so that as soon as my chocolate is melted, when I sprinkle it on there, my pieces are ready to go. Because if I go ahead and melt my chocolate now and then the chocolate has to sit while I'm cutting this up, I've already messed up. So that's one thing I learned the hard way when you're working with melted chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and get my baking tray. I'm gonna go ahead and get my parchment paper and literally our chocolate is gonna be melted last. So we got chocolate on chocolate. I'm opening all of them y'all. And I'm going to taste one for you because I know you need me to do it for research purposes. So we got the York peppermint patty, zero sugar scared to look. Oh Alright, so two pieces are 80 calories. I don't know how much a regular mini York peppermint patty is. If someone wants to check how many two of these are with sugar. Um, but it has zero regular sugar. The sugar alcohols are in there, but that does not spike your blood sugar. So this is an option for you. Now this is not dairy free because y'all can see it does have milk in there but I'm taking one for the team. All right, so got a nice, beautiful York peppermint patty. So good and so bad. Y'all know when you start clear my sinuses. I feel like skiing down the Alps. Y'all remember that commercial? Oh my goodness. We're not opening the rest of these. All right. So let's get these chopped up. I'm just gonna cut them in half and then cut them. Y'all, when I was looking at these candies, 
did you know in the section where they sell these like baking chips, they have like Keith Brickle. Oh, okay, thank you, Chocolate Solution. So the regular patties have 50 calories for one. I'm, ho I'm hoping you're saying 50 calories for one. And this is 80 calories for two. So, mm -hmm. oh no, it froze on. And I'm back. So you can get Heath Brickle. You can get uh, like the Heath Toffee pieces. You can get um, everything. This would be a great like holiday treat if you make your own like cookies and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get little pieces that you can kind of crumble together. Now this is a little difficult because you can see that um, the York peppermint patty has this like ooey gooey center. It's okay. We will make it work. Hey Richard, thank you for being here. Richard is watching what we're doing. So we opened our mixer, figured it out. We are now making a peppermint um, brick version of, I'll just leave this here so y'all can see. Did it play again? All right. So this is from Tasty. Let me see if I can get you the full. All right. So we saw this peppermint brick. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me turn it down. Sometimes the glare, battery's low. All right. There you go. All right. <clears throat> so when we get our candy canes, we'll do this with sugar-free candy canes. But what we have now are the zero sugar York peppermint patties. So instead of crumbling them with a rolling pin, I'm cutting them. So this could be an option for you. I wouldn't eat this every day, but you know, why not? If you like York peppermint patties, And then we'll put this in the freezer. I'm just gonna make a small batch. So we'll freeze it for like half an hour before we go to Lead Attorney's Mastermind. And then I'll make some soup for me. I'll give you guys what you want and then I'll get what I want. I'll show you guys how to make a quick egg drop soup and then we'll be done. Cause I got a hard stop for the mastermind. Okay. So all I did was open up all the York peppermint patties, <laughs> except for one, and we kind of crumbled them up, all right? I know y'all like the close-up. So these were York peppermint patties, and then I'm going to get a small half baking tray and line it with parchment paper, because you're noticing here when she's making it, her ring light is just giving y'all a glare, isn't it? I'm so sorry. All right. Again, just getting everything ready. I wanna melt my chocolate last. So I am going to use a half baking tray. Let me just move this to the side for now. And I'm gonna put parchment paper in here so that it doesn't stick. So I have some half sheets already. This is what I'm using. I got this parchment paper from Kroger. Parchment paper has been treated with silicone. Now, it kind of can move around. So what you can also do is spray the tray, which I'm gonna do. All right, so I've got my refillable sprayer with my coconut oil. Uh-oh, Chocolate Solution says, correction, it's 50 calories per mini peppermint patty, 135 calories for the snack size, y'all. And if you're still on that page, Chocolate Solution, can you check the sugar grams? I don't have to watch salt, but I do have to watch sugar. So 
Exactly. So I'm just going to spray this. It's almost empty. I need to refill it. All right. So I just sprayed my baking sheet with a little bit of coconut oil. And what that does, if you have the parchment paper sheets or you have the parchment paper roll, it kind of acts like a little bit of glue. So this kind of stays in place. I really need to refill this. Let me go ahead and do that. This is in the cheat sheet for you. It's just a refillable sprayer. You can put the oil of your choice in here. That way you can avoid some of the chemicals from the aerosol one. So I'm using my MCT coconut oil. It's hard to do and, and hold it. Get it in there without messing up. All right. I don't want it to overflow. So it turns any oil, could be olive oil, could be avocado oil. Just take the excess. I rub it into my hands. We're approaching ashy knuckle season and we don't want that. All right, then completely optional. You can also spray the top here. Much better. All right, so that way when we melt our chocolate and we put it on here and freeze it, it'll come up clean, all right? So set that aside. I think we have everything now. Let me just wipe this up. I think we have everything now. We're gonna melt our chocolate. So Living Out Loud and Chocolate Solution said mint chocolate and York peppermint patties. So get ready for the burst of freshness. All right, so this is the chocolate that I'm using. So this is Lily's Stevia Sweetened Chocolate. So this is a substitute for you all if you like mint chocolate chips without the sugar. So two things, uh, no sugar added. It's sweetened with Stevia, which is one of our natural plant-based sweeteners. And then this is um, a darker, excuse me, a darker chocolate, but this one does have milk in it. So it's not dairy free, but it is sugar free. I'm gonna go ahead and um, melt everything. So I'm putting the chocolate chips in there and I'll leave these over here. Maybe we'll sprinkle some on there. All right, so if you look in the recipe, she didn't show how she melted hers but I'm gonna melt in the microwave. So you see we have these chocolate chips and these are mint flavor. If you don't have mint flavor chocolate chips, easy enough, get regular sugar-free chocolate or Nestle Toll House if you can have it. And then you can put a little spoonful of this peppermint extract so you get the minty flavor in the chocolate and the candy. Whew. Whew. 17 grams of uh, sugar. Everything I eat is supposed to be under six grams of sugar, so that would be a no-no for me. So I'm gonna put this in the struggle microwave, just like the applesauce. You don't wanna scorch your chocolate. Hi, Prince, thank you for being here. If you wanna move on over to YouTube, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher, and you can see the sub side by side. So these are just regular, uh, well, they're not, no, they're not regular. These are my sugar-free chocolate chips. They're dry. We're gonna put them in the microwave for 30 second increments, 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir. You don't want to just put it in for a minute because you'll burn it. And if you burn it, you have to start over. Hey, Hermesha, thank you so much for being here, my dear. Yes, come through. I would love to do a collab with you. All right, so let's put these in the struggle microwave. Let's move our mixer out of the way. Need to clean up. So, either on low speed or 30 seconds and then take it out. So Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. We can start cleaning up. So we've got this. So we've got options, y'all, for zero sugar candies. Not every day, but a treat. Kamisha says yummy. Yeah, we're going to be doing the zero sugar York peppermint patty. I don't even know why I use that corner anymore. That used to be my secret stash when the kids were little. Now they're taller than me. Yes to zero sugar. Absolutely. So many options, y'all. You can still enjoy. Ah, 30 seconds. All right. 
So you can see our chocolate is starting to sweat a little bit. The candy tastes good, Mona. I'll taste one for you, but let me stir this up. Alexa, stop. So just 30 seconds in the microwave. We want to stir it up. And then we're going to go back in for 30 more seconds. But this breaks up any hot spots. You can put a little bit of coconut oil in if you need to. Alexa, stop. Ooh, it smells so minty and fresh. Hi, Kim B Organics. Thank you for being here. If you want to hop on over to YouTube, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher, and you can see side by side. All right, 30 more seconds. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. So these were all York peppermint patties, the zero sugar. They've got that... Uh, minty center that we know and love. They taste like a regular York peppermint patty to me. Honestly, not my favorite candy, but it is good. But the Reese's. OMG. I'm just thinking. Okay, Alexa, stop. All right, I think this should be enough. Yeah, so once you get it all nice and smoothly mixed, ribbons of chocolate, no more uh, bits of um, chocolate chips. We're gonna spread this out onto our parchment paper, okay? So we wanna get all of this on here. Again, if you saw the video, she did two different layers. So if you had like a white chocolate layer, or you could do a caramel or a butterscotch. There's so many different flavors of sugar-free chocolate. It's real chocolate, just sweetened with stevia, and it has mint. Who wants the bowl? I know you want it. All right, so then we're gonna spread this out. The smoother and the thinner you can spread it, the faster it will freeze for you. So you wanna try and get it as close to the edge as possible, but still be, you know, smooth. We don't want those kind of spaces in there. So I'm just kind of moving it to the edges. And you could do your, you know, ribbons if you want to. All right, so while it's still soft, now, I think we're pretty smoothed out. Oh, mama. Okay, focus, Maggie. We're gonna get our York peppermint patty pieces. Oh, I should have cut them a little bit smaller. Now, it would be great if we had um, something that was, you know, a little bit different color, but it's fine. I'm just putting this all over. I'm doing the whole bag, y'all. But this could be candy canes. Now, since this is a mint flavor, I wouldn't do the peanut butter, but if you had like a butterscotch, or anything else. Let's see. And we'll do just a little bit of chocolate chips. Imagine I had different colors. And then just, just because. This is gonna go in the freezer. Recipe says an hour for two layers, but I think 30 minutes should be good. All right, so let me put this in the garage and we're gonna freeze it. Another no-bake dessert. So 
So that one would be a good one to do with the kids. Let them help decorate. You could have different candy pieces. You could have everything out, right? And then just let them have at it. I'm not wasting that chocolate bowl. Chocolate. Tell us. <laughs> you tear it up. You see over here. Y'all, I started Team Greedy. All right. So. I'm going to make a quick soup. Mm. Mm -mm -mm, Y'all. Okay. But that would be nice, you know, for your gatherings or if you need to make a quick dessert. Y'all can do it. Y'all can make this stuff. Now, I'm going to make something for me. Something that's great for these fall evenings. Something that I think is easy. Y'all are so funny. All right, so let's clean this up. I don't know if Leanne is still with us. Leanne said this would be a good time to have some soup. I couldn't agree more. So I am going to make a quick egg drop soup, something that I can sip on slow, especially this time of year. Soups are a great way, and y'all, I'm just stalling for time while our stuff is unbaking. But soups are a great way to um, get fullness from the broth without all the extra calories. You can make them as lean or as chunky as you like. I vote for chunky. Let me see. Do I want to use this, uh, go at this chicken I have? I'm going to show you guys we got a little straggler of rotisserie left. I'm going to show you something you can do with it. I bought this from Walmart or Amazon, but this is going to be egg drop soup. I can put some chives on there or green onion. Just grabbing some stuff I have from the fridge. Hey, veggie, veggie. Uh, I'm getting your namesake out. We got some mushrooms in the fridge. No mustard. Some green onion. course you need some egg for egg drop soup. All right, so let me get a little pot. All you need is a little sauce pot. This comes with, I think I bought a 10 pack of these. This is kind of like my go-to. Leanne asked about the boys, especially when the boys aren't home. These are the types of meals that I make for myself and um, just add some extra protein to them. So this packet, it comes as a two pack. You need a quart of cold water, which is four cups. So let me get a little pack, a little um, pot.
All right, so we looked at our tasty recipe. We've got some tasty cookware. I keep it in a special place just for y'all. So this could make an, um, a simple meal or something a little bit more hearty. So I'm gonna walk you through it, then we'll get our desserts out, then we're done. So clean as we go, clean before, during, and after, but we want to take care of what we have. All right, so I'm using this induction cooktop. This is a duck's top. I got it off of Amazon. Link should be in the cheat sheet for you. So this is a sauce pot that I'm using. It just needs to be able to hold four cups of water. So the instructions, and most of these egg drop soup packets are the same. This is the tiling. You can get at Walmart, Amazon, wherever. Empty the contents of one packet into a saucepan. One packet, saucepan. This has been approved for me, so we're gonna put the soup mix in there. Add one quart of cold water and stir until completely dissolved. That is important. I didn't stir all the way and I had just a big glump in the middle. We don't want that. A quart is four cups. Hmm, I know I have something bigger. So I've got a measuring cup, but I wanna do one at a time. I guess I have to. So let me bring four. And it says cold water. Why? I don't know. One. I'm wondering if I should have got a bigger pot. Uh-oh. <laughs> and four. I got filtered water from the fridge just because it's cold. Roar. All right. So I'm using this little wooden thing just to stir and make sure that all of the, nothing is on yet, it's just cold. Just making sure that this is all dissolved and I don't have any soup mix stuck to the bottom. All right, and then we're gonna stir and heat it until it comes to a boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank this up and we'll put the top on it, move it back just a little bit and I already know what comes next. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack an egg. One egg, if you wanna double up your protein, you could do two. So I am going to use a whole egg. You could probably use your vegan eggs or your um, egg substitute. Hi, Damone is here, thank you for being here. If you wanna hop on over to YouTube, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. You can uh, see the side by side. So, can you give me like 20 minutes? Or do you need something? So while I'm waiting for this to boil, I'm going to go ahead and crack my egg and go ahead and beat it. Just, Just beat it. Do you want to introduce yourself or no? No, Okay. We sing the same song. All right, so I've got my egg. Gonna go ahead and crack it here. So we just keep stirring until it boils. And I'm just feeling along the bottom. I wanna make sure that there's no, um, you know, no sticky bits. Wanna make sure you keep it moving. I'm gonna go ahead and beat the egg. 
and I'll show you guys the technique to making the egg drop soup. It's not hard. It's a little complicated, but once you get it, you got it. So for me, just a regular whole egg, and I'm just going to mix it well. The reason why you want to beat your egg well is so that it's just homogenous. You know, when you're scrambling eggs, you'll have all the same color. You won't have white pieces and yellow pieces. So we've mixed our egg and I'll stir it one more time before I put it in here. Just keep it stirred up. I think the egg drop soup has like potato flour or something in there. It can get a little clumpy if you don't keep it moving. So we need this to come to a boil. I'm thinking if I want to get into this rotisserie chicken or just use a canned chicken. Hope you all are doing well. Happy Thursday. We're almost there. Just keeping our soup moving. Once it comes to a boil, we'll be ready to put our other ingredients in there. So we'll get our soup to boil, we'll put it into a bowl, soy sauce. Do you want egg drop soup, Alex? Yes? yes? As per usual, the teenagers surface when I'm close to the end. Leanne, you still with me? Since I'm going to be making portions for two. Now, as far as the boil, you definitely want it to get to a full boil, not a simmer. You want a good rolling boil. That's the way you get those beautiful ribbons of egg. So we're making egg drop soup. An easy fall um, soup to make or any time of year. I'm going to add some canned mushroom to it. I'm going to top some green onion with it. And I think I'm just going to add the canned chicken. I have a rotisserie here. I was going to kind of get in there and shred it, but I just got this out of the pantry. This is chicken, uh, white chicken meat. So I'm just going to open this and put it in here after I get my ribbons. So right now it's just the soup mix and water. So we want to definitely put in our egg first and then all the other stuff. If you put the other stuff in there, I don't know how well you get your egg ribbons. So it should be boiling any moment now and we'll be done. So a couple options. We talked about this before. Whew, thought I almost dropped the glass. So I'm going to be topping mine with soy sauce. Another alternative, especially because I have teenage sons, we have two boys, no soy boys. I'm using coconut aminos for the boys. Um, if you're sensitive to soy, that's an option for you. All right. So it looks like our soup is boiling. I want to get it to a good rolling boil. I'm just moving along the bottom so I don't have any soup bits. All right. So y'all see what's happening here. We have a full on boil for the soup. Now, what you want to do, just stir one last time. And I'm using a wooden spoon because this is nonstick and it's new and I don't want to mess it up. So this is the point when you put your egg in, okay? If it's not boiling, you won't get the ribbons. <laughs> hey, God's girl, thank you for being here, my dear. So what you want to do while it's boiling, 
you have your well-beaten egg, and then you're going to pour and stir at the same time. I know. So boiling, stirring, pouring. All right. So I've turned it off because at this point it's pretty much done. You see how we have the beautiful ribbons of eggs? You only get this when it's in a full on boil. I know y'all like the um, close up. Okay, so now just toss whatever you want in there. It's nice and hot. I'm gonna pop open a can of chicken breast. Or if you have rotisserie lying around, you could just do that. Oh, God. Pop this open if I can. Hand strength. <laughs> okay. You can drain it if you want to. I'm not going to. I just want it all. So we put some chicken in there for extra protein. If you want it really eggy, you could have done two eggs. So we'll let the heat from the soup just kind of warm up the chicken breast because the canned chicken was already cooked. Then this is what I'll do like for extra fullness. This is a can of um, mushrooms. I'll just put the whole thing in there. It could be any vegetables you like. It could be, I don't know, celery, bok choy, um, whatever. Looking at the time. And then it could be chives. I really like green onion because egg is mild. Chicken is salty, but kind of mild. Mushroom is mild. I like the little kick, the little pungent kick you get from green onion. I put some in and then I put some on. So that's pretty much it. And then we'll do the soy sauce. I'm going to do that separate because I'm going to make a bowl for me and I'm going to make a bowl, a bowl for my son. So the boys don't get soy. I'll use soy sauce and I'll give him um, the coconut aminos. I'm going to do a quick taste. No mushroom left behind. For the boys, you could do like uh, spring rolls or egg rolls or, you know, I don't know, noodles or whatever. But this is something that I would eat as a meal. Uh, and I would sip on that like all day and have like one like plated meal. And I'd be great. All right. So let's give this a taste. Of course, the soy sauce is going to bring it up a notch. I almost feel like I need to put another can of chicken in there because I don't think that's enough for me and the kid. Get a little mushroom, get a little onion. I know the chicken is good. Hot. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna put one more can of chicken in there just for protein and then we're gonna serve it. So again, y'all can make this as simple or as chunky as you like. So just chicken already cooked. So it's kind of like egg drop soup with chicken. And we're done y'all, cause we gotta get our desserts out. Cause my pot is full. All right, so let's see if I can serve Alex and then I'll serve myself. If you do crispy noodles or any of that stuff, go to town. All right, so big old bowl. Let's see. All right, let me make sure I give him some good pieces of chicken. Just don't wanna stain that. So let's get in there. Make sure we feed the family. All right. So we got a big old bowl of soup. Don't have to, you could put a little extra green onion on there. And so Alex, I'm going to use the coconut amino. So this is our substitute for soy sauce. Just put a little bit for him. 
So your dinner is ready. There's your egg drop soup. I don't know where he is. Hot! Alex? And then I'm going to make mine and we are going to clean up. Hello. There's your soup. If you want to taste it and let everybody know how it is. All right, so same thing oh, for it me. Smells delicious. Smells good? Oh, thank you, Chocolate Solution. And I'm using the um, gluten-free soy sauce, Kikoman. Yeah, I put mushroom, chicken, and um, green onion. So I'll take a... You want to come introduce yourself? That's delicious. Who was asking for the kids? Come say who you are. I'm Alex. You want to tell them about your soup? It's delicious. It's delicious. And there you go. There's the 13-year-old. All right, so... This is my dinner, so you guys can see. We've got our chicken, we've got our mushroom, soy sauce. Let me get a good bite of everything. Mm. It's like a warm hug. Okay, so this a will keep hug. a hot hug. So this is going to be my dinner for Mastermind. Let's bring our desserts out and we're done. Desserts? Not for you. Desserts? desserts. All right, excuse me. Right. So we're going to get our apple cake out first out of the fridge and then we're going to get our, um, what is it? Our York brittle out of the freezer. So let's get our cake. One egg did all of this. Cutting board. Okay, so this is our fridge cake. So you guys can see, I don't know if you can see, it needs to set for at least an hour. We're gonna take the film off the top. And I don't know if y'all can see, see how it's like this foamy kind of spongy. Right. So we're going to take this off. Then we're going to take off the bottom film. And I'm going to plate it and frost it. <laughs> Alex, they're saying hi. Y'all, he's still over there. It's hot. All right. So we're going to frost this cake. I'm going to frost it with our zero sugar uh, Cool Whip just so it looks like a proper cake. Okay, so we've got our zero sugar Cool Whip. So I'm just lifting it up out with the plastic wrap. Then let me get a plate. All right, you guys want a protein cake? So I am just going to put it directly onto the plate and turn it over. I think I want to trim the edges just so that it's fine. You need anything else? That looks good. It looks good. All right, so we're gonna peel off the bottom. I know it looks kind of weak, still a little bit soft. The longer you can let it set, the better. Looks like sponge cake. It is like a sponge cake. I don't know if y'all can kind of see that. Applesauce. That's applesauce? And gelatin. And gelatin? Just, just so it looks like a cake, I'm gonna trim off the edges. This is optional, but I don't know if y'all can see our cake texture. It's a cold cake. Now, one thing about this, 
tastes amazing. That vanilla skinny syrups, sugar-free sweetener really stands out. Don't think those pieces are going to waste. That's fruit. All right. So we've got our cake. You can see it's a little bit soft, but I wanted to kind of cut it square like a cake. I'm going to move it onto a clean. Actually, I'm wondering if I put it back in here. Okay. I'm still gonna frost it. I tried to move it. All right. So imagine it's still together. And all I'm gonna do This is our zero sugar cool whip. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just gonna get this whole tub and kind of <laughs> see what's happening here. And I'm gonna try and cut out a corner. But usually, and again, one um, piece of this is 12 calories. Un sweetened applesauce and um, well before the whipped frosting so um, happiness with no carbs or whoever was asking about the Reese's I would um, I would sprinkle them on here when you're about to eat your slice I am not oh I should have said that peppermint patty that would have been nice but you can use this zero um, sugar cool whip kind of like a frosting so you guys see what's happening here? Then I'm going to cut Let's see if we can get a piece out that looks kind of decent. I almost feel like I should have kept it on the tray. I need to eat my um, soup first. It's still kind of soft, y'all, honestly. Two hours in the fridge would be better. But, you know what? I wish it set better for you. I really wish it did. But you can kind of see our cake. I eat a slice of this every day. Mint says everything I make looks delicious. Thank you for saying that. I feel bad. I feel like my cake is a little bit of a dumpster fire, but you all see where it was supposed to go. Oh, I got to run, but let me get your um, York peppermint patty. You followed the stuffed mushrooms video and they came out fantastic. You're currently waiting to do the chocolate covered blueberries from the freezer. <gasps> Speaking of freezer, Y'all, this is yummy. Mm. I'm gonna put the foil, um, the film back on it and put it in the fridge. All right, let's get the last dessert out, taste it, and then we're done.
I'll have to get pictures. Here is your York peppermint patty. It said freeze for an hour, but let's see if we can lift this. Because we did the um, parchment paper, look at it. One big brick. Sugar-free chocolate, sugar-free. Let me get you a nice plate. Let's see. Oh, sorry, y'all. Wrong one. I'm trying to get that off. But y'all can see we got like one big plate of peppermint. So this will go in the fridge or freezer. I should have got a bigger platter. I'll take pictures. Pictures will go up. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. No, it's too much. All right. Here is your mastermind time. It's time to go. Kim, I'm on my way. Y'all, here is your peppermint bark. Enjoy sugar-free mint chocolate with sugar-free York peppermint patty. Thank you. All right, y'all. I have to go. I will see you tomorrow. Class is dismissed. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Turn on the notifications. Hopefully they'll notify you. All right, you all. <laughs>